This your boy, you know, T Green. And just like I told you, I'm back with another one. Go ahead and like, share, and subscribe. I'm really enjoying uh, doing this. You know, we haven't did this in a while. And, uh, you know, it, it, it was fun. I mean, I can't even lie. Fishing two days back to back, not cooking it. What you caught, you know. Can't go, um, can't plank. Let me uh, get my other knife here. Yeah, this that other one here. This that real sharp. This the one I should have had when I was filleting outside. But you know, it's sharp on top and at the bottom. You got to be real careful with that one. Now, what I'm finna do here is uh, just cut a little line in this grunt. Ooh, that grease ready. I don't have to do the water test today, y'all. Well, I'll just sprinkle a little water. But, uh, I like to uh, cut um, a little line in, just so the grease could go in there. And I always remember head first. Just like that, y'all. Yeah. Drop them nuggets in there. I call them fish nuggets. Put me another grind in there. And that grease is hot, y'all. So we don't have to worry. Where that other fish nugget? Oh, there it is. I call them fish nuggets when they're just a fin. Yeah, that thing frying right up. It don't take long. Five minutes. If that. Put Mr. Jack on in here. Mr. Jack Cavalli. Now while that's frying, I'm gonna go ahead and get the other fish ready. Yes, sir. Hey, this doc talks, baby. You know we're gonna talk all the way through this. So now I'm getting that uh that chug, that big chug fish that I caught. Well, my son caught. Can't take the credit away from him. Junior did that all by himself. Get that seasoned up. Get this good flour powder. I know we keep that stove clean, especially with that grease. You notice my grease ain't popping and all of that. It's doing what it's supposed to do. So now, check on it. See what we working with. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, that's that fry hog. How that was coming along. Okay, that's that jack. We just about ready. You don't want to overdo it. So, y'all know me. I always use a trainer with a little nap underneath it. Keep your fish crisp. You ain't got the word. That jack gonna take a little minute. Look at them fish nuggets, y'all. Look at them fish nuggets I was telling you about. Drop him on in there. Fry hard. That was that grunt. Just that spot. I'm gonna take that other fish nugget out. Once it starts floating, it's done. You want that thing that looking like Long John Silver. Well, this look better than Long John Silver. Yeah, that's, that's done. Yeah, that's done. Now with this jack, we let him finish swimming in the ocean of love for a minute. Mm -hmm. Boy, look at this fish, man. I can't wait. Look at that. Look at that, y'all. <laughs> that's gonna be good. When I tell you that's gonna be good, 
Now you probably wonder why I keep checking that jack and flipping them. You don't want it to be, you know, cooked too well done. <laughs> but we want to fry it hard. Meanwhile, I'm cutting me another lemon. Get that ready. So he, he crisps all the way around, just like that. So as soon as that come out the grease, take your lemon, and all I'm gonna do is let me see if I could. Let me just lift up the camera a little bit so y'all can see. I go ahead and trizzle them right when he got the grease. Woo! Boy, he hot. Use your spatula, y'all. Don't be hood like me. <laughs> yeah, I put that lemon on right when they get out the grease so that thing can just sit. We're gonna let them cool off. Keep a lot of these. That way when these get done, draining, I'll sit that in now. Now with the tub here, we gotta take our time, y'all. First thing first, I'm gonna drop that backbone in there. That backbone almost take up the whole thing. See how that do. All right, all right. I'm gonna cook that other backbone. Remember earlier? The ones with the bones, you can see a bone right there. Drop him on and I let him swim. Got the other backbone on the other side. But it's not the backbone, it's that lower dorsal fin that we don't really need. I mean, uh, I ain't say we don't need, but most people just get rid of it. Let me show you how to make that thing good. Now I'm not gonna put another piece of meat in here. I'm just gonna let them swim. Let those cook for a little bit. And uh, be right back with y'all. So while we wait, we hydrate. <laughs> you already know where I get that from. If you don't know, now you know. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. I don't know, man. Parrot may be the best uh, coconut uh, water, y'all. Can't even front. None GMO. Whew. Man, this thing ice cold. Lord, have mercy. Mm -mm -mm. And I'm not sponsored by you. But, hey, if you're watching this video, send me a boy some. I'll put a parrot in every video. <laughs> but Lord knows they're special. So now that this backbone done, that's how it's supposed to look. You see how you can see the bones? That's how you know it's done. That's how that's how you want it to look. That's how your backbone should look. So I'm gonna sit him here momentarily. Take these other fish on out. The, the trainer. Cause they done. Take these fish nuggets out. Here go that other backbone, y'all. Y'all see it now. It's cooking in the hood. Cooking with you know T green, baby. Yes, sir. Look at that. Look at that, y'all. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Don't y'all throw away them pieces of the fish, man. Listen to people. Talking about, oh man, nobody want that backbone. Okay, okay. Take that lemon. Sprinkle it on one side of the backbone. Mm. 
Translate that other side. Now, time to cook the last fish, snapper. Well, we had to switch it up, y'all. I thought I was gonna get some uh, fish and grits going, but y'all know how black people do. And I ain't planned this. This was really unplanned. We gotta use some eggland best, make some cheese eggs. So I got five eggs cracked, got some um, Horizon organic milk, drop some milk in that thing. You want a good little bit of milk in that. This is how you make them good cheese eggs. So get me a little whisk here. Now y'all, y'all know how to work that wrist. See how that thing just changed colors? Ooh, ooh, what? Back in my day, water whipping. I'm just playing, y'all. That's a joke. But uh, yes, sir. Uh, here we go. Got the thing ready. Let's get that fish out of here, y'all. When that fish go to being quiet. I mean, that thing done swimming. See how it look, y'all. Ooh, boy, that's that chug. That's a filet for oh, ya. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, the thing kinda hot, y'all. Make sure there ain't no more in us swimming. But y'all, that's that chug. Same thing, you know the routine by now. We're gonna drop some of that lemon juice on them. It's sleeping, I mean, it's uh, creeping through to the breeze, so gotta be careful that the thing will spark up on you. Set that to the side. Gotta save the best for last. Now, I just don't wanna splash them. I'm holding them by his head. Now, y'all know I usually go head first. If he gonna fit, all right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna cook half his body that way, and the other half, we're gonna cook, or, I'm gonna show y'all something. Let me show y'all a little trick. We ain't gonna do all that. I'm gonna go ahead and cut through his head. If I can. He was so big, he should have been deep fried. Now y'all don't do this unless you got experience, please. Really, I shouldn't even be doing this. I don't want to tear my fish up. Yeah, there it goes. So I just cut the head a little bit. And then once that fry up a little bit more, I'm gonna cut it on off. And uh, yeah, that's all you gotta do. Now I'm gonna take this extra virgin olive oil. Spray my pan a little bit here. Turn him to about medium high. So now you should be able to. Oh. I just put the head in the pan. Yeah. Let it sit. Let them sit. Let them sit. Back to these cheese eggs. We'll let homeboy just fry for a minute. So, I got my cheese ready. 
I'ma dump in my eggs. Dump in my cheese now. Ain't no uh, right or wrong with this. Real simple, y'all. Just cheese it. We ain't reinventing the wheel. Yeah, see how uh, I ain't want to do that? You see how my fish broke up a little bit? I like it to be pretty, but it's fine. Let him, let, let him cook on down, fry down. And uh, he gonna be good anyway. All right, back to my cheese eggs. We're gonna take a little pepper. I just like to cover the whole thing. Just like that. And with cheese eggs, you just don't even touch. You just let them come together in about five minutes, I'm gonna be done. There you go. Now that head broke on down in the that's what I wanted right there. Now we just let that thing fry. So now the cheese is ready. See, that's why I let it sit. Y'all excuse the noise, y'all. That's my sister-in-law. You good, you good. This live in effect. Yep, I'm just doing the edge. Um, like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> so, uh, that's my crazy sister in law. She's funny, man. But, uh, these are how them cheese eggs supposed to look, y'all. You know what I'm saying? If your cheese eggs ain't looking like that, you ain't doing it right. I ain't even breaking them down, I'm just letting them cook. I like mine well done. You may want yours over easy or still with the bird in them. No, 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 no. I don't want no bird in mine. <laughs> Make it up and fly away on you. You know what I mean? So don't let that snapper fry hard, y'all. That snapper, I ain't gonna even touch it. Rule of number one, when you fry fish, don't touch it. That's how it break all up and then your fish be looking crazy. That these about done. And see the reason why I do that, cause I still like to see the little yolk part, the white part. Is that the yolk or is that the, oh uh, no, the yolk is the yellow, I think, the, whatever the white part is. Hey, I skipped that day in science class. <laughs> so now that's good. Bam 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 ba da 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 Man, y'all been rocking with me for a long time today. Yes, sir, and I appreciate it. Appreciate everybody on the live. How many people we got? Okay, okay, we, we, we ain't doing too bad, 170. Hey, every day ain't gotta be on 500 today. And I ain't do this in a while, and it was last minute. So for all y'all who just came in, I appreciate that. Y'all laughing and putting up emojis, I appreciate that. I'm glancing at the iPad every now and then to look. But uh, yeah. I should have used a slotted spoon just cause though we ain't gotta worry about that thing. Uh, oh yeah, we gonna let that cook a little bit more on that side. I don't even want, and then when I lift it up, I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you how to do the technique. Actually, to get it ready. I'm gonna show you a technique out there. Use a metal. Always use metal. I see people putting plastic in grease. I was like, man, you tripping. You is tripping. All right, we don't want the eggs to be overdone. And the cheese is in there. Take it off that hot. Hey, so this is the final result. I'm just eating a little chub backbone with the chub filet and some egg. But look at my sister-in-law plate. <laughs> Y'all see her plate. Hey, that thing was good. 
Let's see what my old lady doing. She eating it, but she a little sad right now, y'all. Y'all already know why. But uh, yeah, man. So the food was good. If my sister-in-law approved it, hey, man, that thing good. You already know the motto, man. Another day above ground is what? Truly a blessing. Like, share, subscribe. Tune in with your boy, you know, T Green. And I'm going to be right back with another one.